I just wanted to point out a few things that we have been doing. We are already doing hacks without the explicitly knowing uh, how profound it has been. Um, so what we have been doing, for example, this is Vajrayana. So then in terms of Vajrayana practice, chill practice, how I view Vajrayana practice and chill practice and the Idang or deity practice is a combination or Shamata Vipassana union. We are practicing all of them. Shamata practice in the form of visualization and concentration and focus. We have been doing that. So that's a Shamata practice aspect of it. Then that's, uh, you can say, creation phase or creation or generation uh, stage. And also we have been doing a Vipassana practice simultaneously which is uh, resting in the nature of mind. Mm -hmm. So that is, you can say, completion space. So we have been doing all of them simultaneously. And so it's uh, very profound. And then we're using body, speech, and the mind. You know, how profound it is that. When we talk about Vajrayana, it's all about transformation, right? So transformation means not just mind, it's transforming. It's entirety. So we are embodying. So our body is transforming, which means the physiological aspect of it. And then of course, uh, emotional body and breath body, energy body, everything is shifted. So everything going to the, you can say right direction, going to the central channel. And then we are kind of creating this uh, most uh, conducive circumstances. Then realization to dawn. We are not trying to realize something. We are creating this environmental condition for the natural realization or the seeing dawn as a uh, wisdom. So it's a very profound practice we have been <laughs> engaging.